So today I wanted to do another raw sit down video kind of just about my honest thoughts on what kind of changed the direction of my art career because after knowing and experiencing this, I feel like it's going to be very difficult for me to just go back to a traditional full-time studio job as at least the only job that I have. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle and I have worked in the LA animation industry for the past five years or so, mainly as a storyboard artist and writer and assistant episodic director. But during those times, I've also always just kind of done my own thing, worked on my own personal projects that I've been able to monetize. And ever since I got laid off last year, now I pretty much have to rely on those monetized personal projects. Growing up though, I always felt like I was taught that you need to achieve these traditional achievements like going to the best art school, working at the best studio, winning an Oscar award, doing all of these things that, you know, are very known to be considered successful in our traditional world. And let me just say that I have nothing against artists achieving these traditional forms of achievement. I think that that is amazing. And I love that artists are getting the recognition that they deserve. But what I do think is that not everybody is going to be meant to go down that path. Just because they are a creative. So just because you're an artist or just because you are a creative person, you might have been told by people, oh, you should like direct the next Disney movie. You should publish this next book. And you know, sometimes these things subconsciously feed into your brain that make you think like, oh, I should do this thing that allows me to succeed in this traditional way. And that is fine if that is ultimately what you end up doing. But there's also a whole world out there where that is not the only thing Thing you have to do in order to be successful. So personally for me, this is something that I did not know when I was a student and just graduated. And I more so just realized this recently, which is that I personally feel more successful when I achieve my own personal and domestic achievements, if that makes sense. So for me, what this means is I wanna be able to buy my own home. I wanna be able to travel the world. I wanna be able to have money to invest for my future. And I just want want to be able to make myself feel stable and safe. So I hate to break it to you, but for any of you who think that winning awards out there also means you'll just like win a lot of money that will then help you live the rest of your life as an artist, that unfortunately is untrue. It can help you with recognition that can allow opportunities that then will help fund your life for sure. But in terms of what is going to be consistently allowing you to live your life the way that you want to on a daily basis, that is where it really comes down to you. So in summary, I just think that we've been living a life where a lot of people tell us that if you wanna be a successful creative, you've gotta do these things, hit these numbers and achieve these traditional awards when really you don't have to do those things just to be successful. Success really comes down to you. And for me, what I consider to be success is finding contentment in how my day-to-days are going or how aligned the things I'm doing are with my personal values and goals. Like for example, I never thought that I would be hosting all of these international art retreats or even be sent abroad to explore the world with my community as my job. And more recently that has been a part of my life. And for those of you who are interested, we still have some spots left in our South Korea trip this November. And more recently announced, we have a trip in Greece in 2025. So if you're interested in any of those, check them out in the links below. But these are things that I always thought I would have to just wait for. And the reality is, is that you have to make these things a reality for yourself. And for me, the way that I did that was just by having a presence online and consistently showed up every day and just provided some sort of value to my audience. And recently I kind of read something about what it ultimately means to be an artist, where it's like, you're not here to make art and put on a show you're just showing people what you're doing as an artist. And I feel like the ability to just successfully show what you are doing in a way that it can then satisfy those personal and domestic goals of yours to live a happy life. I feel like that's kind of where 
I'm at with what makes me feel successful and content. Because at the end of the day, I know in a world if like my graphic novel won some award or whatever, it's like great, I have that one moment of stardom, but at the end of the day, I still have to come back to this life and decide if this life is what I'm happy with. And for me, the things that I really value is having an organized, stable life that is filled with my hobbies, passions, interests. I love traveling the world. I like feeling financially safe and stable. I like having flexibility in my schedule to do whatever I want, whenever I want. And I love spending time with my family and friends. And I love going out there and being able to spread a positive impact on others because that's what cartoons, animated shows, and movies did for me as a kid. And for me, I thought that I would always have to do this via being some well-known artist that has had these great traditional achievements to do that. But no, you can just do that just by being yourself with the help of things like social media and the internet these days. And I feel like we're always chasing for the thing that inspired us as a kid. But the reality is, is that what inspired you as a kid may not always be the most accessible path for you by the time that you're an adult. Like right now, the landscape of the art and entertainment industry is so vastly different now, especially with social media and AI compared to when I was just a kid and you only had those 10 shows on cable or something like that. So I hope that this video kind of encourages you to maybe look at your art career a little bit differently and not really feel like you need to measure it by traditional achievements and maybe start measuring it by your own personal internal achievements. I feel like we always have this need to really prove to the world that we are worth it or that we are valuable. But at the end of the day, those resume titles, those positions, are not always going to be promising you the type of life that you originally wanted for yourself. So one thing I did for myself was I kind of started a manifestation sketchbook and all I draw in here are just things that I want for my life or what I want to be, what I want to have in my life. And I find that I have a lot of fun drawing things that I want to eventually become a reality. And let me tell you, none of the images in the sketchbook thus far highlight a job position a promotion. I just think what matters to me is being able to make a living with my art that can pay me very well. And then I can go off and live my life and do whatever I want and make the contributions I want back to the world with that money. And I think that's what it really comes down to is just whatever you can really just make a lot of money with, with your art, just go do it. And as long as it makes you happy as a person, hey, just go do that. Who cares what the title or resume worthy position is? Anyway, thanks for watching this video. And if you wanna see more raw, honest talks like these, check out this video here and I will see you all in the next one.